high flower for South Africa, Africa, England. Canned goods for Saskatchewan, Manitoba, Ontario, Quebec. Breakfast foods for Canada, Belgium, the West Indies. Meat for domestic use, meat for export. Cheese, butter, and other dairy products for markets from east to west. These are only some of the agricultural products processed in Manitoba. Agriculture is the single most important segment of the economy of Western Canada. It provides raw materials for manufacturing industries as well as a large market for goods and services. Soil and climatic conditions, central location, relatively low production costs, coupled with industrial development and population growth, offer Manitoba's agricultural industry many opportunities for expansion that will result in a corresponding increase in the agricultural processing industries. This film portrays the diversified nature of Manitoba's agricultural industry. It also shows the many opportunities that the province offers to industrialists and investors seeking new fields of enterprise based on the requirements of farmers in Western Canada or the agricultural raw materials available in the region. To the east, Hudson Bay and the Canadian Shield. To the west, the Rocky Mountains. And in between, 200 million acres of the world's finest farmland. Fertile soil, famous for the quantity and quality of its abundant harvests. This land yields oats, flax, barley. But its most famous crop is wheat. Each year, Western farmers harvest about 500 million bushels of Canadian hard wheat. Over 4 million head of cattle are raised on prairie farms and ranches. Beef cattle and dairy cows bring the farmers an income of $250 million a year. And today on the prairies, where there are farms, there's machinery. Well over a billion dollars is invested in farm machinery of all kinds. The average farmer owns machinery valued at $4,500, three times as much as he had 15 years ago. In fact, the market for farm equipment is over $80 million a year in the three prairie provinces. The bulk of prairie produce flows east from Alberta, from Saskatchewan, and on into the province of Manitoba. Manitoba, midway between the producing west and the consuming east, has become the principal processing and distribution center for the agricultural products of all three prairie provinces. The freight yards at Winnipeg handle millions of tons of western produce every year. Much of the grain continues on to the east, or goes north through Manitoba's seaport at Churchill on its way to world markets. But not all of it leaves Manitoba. Indeed, 13 million bushels a year are processed right in the province. One product is flour. Mills in Manitoba sell over $26 million worth a year. Winnipeg itself has become the largest flour milling center in Western Canada. Manitoba mills are efficient and highly mechanized. Intricate machinery plays an important role in many of the processing industries. Preparing foods like this well-known breakfast cereal, which is marketed in the East and the West. This huge malting plant is one of the reasons Manitoba is a leading producer of malt. Back of this industry is an annual barley crop worth $38 million. But Manitoba's biggest agriculturally based industry is meat packing. 
13 plants process livestock from all three western provinces. Though a wide range of Manitoba's meat products are already sold in the east and abroad, more opportunities remain for the further processing of the industry's byproducts. The dairy industry ranks fifth in the province's manufacturing industries. It is typified by careful handling and control to ensure high quality, the kind of care that makes Manitoba dairy products prize winners at national fairs. In this expanding province, the opportunities for increased dairy production will continue to grow. Already the 68 butter and cheese factories in the province have an annual production in excess of $12. Their markets are firmly established from coast to coast. One of the most significant features of the agricultural scene in Manitoba, and one which contributes greatly to the province's agricultural strength, is the fact that here farming is diversified and is becoming increasingly intensive. For an example, let us take a look at this typical Manitoba farm. It is quite heavily mechanized. This is common. Fewer people producing more and more. The barn is for a small herd of cattle, mostly beef, some dairy. The granaries show there is a large production of cereal crops. And the poultry house indicates, naturally, poultry. Not a large flock, about 250 birds. But small flocks like this supply 32 poultry processing plants located throughout the province. Plants like this one, where preparation of chicken broilers and fryers is a specialty. Eggs and poultry supply a $22 million a year industry in Manitoba. More than 20% of the eggs produced are processed, candled, cleaned, and sealed in containers. Here is an industry that offers opportunities for still further development. But back to the farm, and a good crop of sweet corn. This is a sensible crop in Manitoba. Profitable. It does away with summer fallowing. It checks soil erosion, and it discourages weeds. Not quite ready for picking yet, but when it is, where will it go? Well, much of it will go to the same place as many other local vegetables, such as beans and tomatoes, to one of Manitoba's canning factories. The canning of vegetables, once grown only for market, is now a two and a half million dollar industry, with sales in Saskatchewan, Ontario, and Manitoba. Continuing industrialization and a growing population promise an expanding market for vegetables processed in Manitoba. Actually, the principal resource and attraction is not any particular crop, but the Manitoba soil itself. It is rich and fertile, little affected by drought, and capable of bearing a great variety of crops. This is the soil responsible for one of Manitoba's important industries. Sugar beets, an entirely new crop, were introduced some years ago and resulted in the building of a major sugar refinery. Today, there are 23,500 acres of land under sugar beet cultivation in Manitoba. This is a $4 million business, made possible because men with capital and farmers with good land both recognize the opportunities inherent in rich soil. During the season, the sugar refinery at Winnipeg turns out 500,000 pounds of sugar per day. The vegetable oil refinery in southern Manitoba is a cooperative industry begun by the farmers themselves. Its products include salad oils, feed concentrates, even fuel. And the source of the oil? Sunflower seeds. Thousands of acres of sunflowers that support an almost three million dollar business. In Manitoba, industrial opportunity is what you make it. There's grain in abundance fruit and vegetables for canning, livestock, poultry. It's a thriving agricultural province, and one where more and more agriculture means industry. Much has already been achieved, but there are still many more opportunities for further processing of agricultural materials. For instance, there appear to be possibilities inherent in starch and glucose. Candy manufacturers in the province import glucose for candy and starch for molds. 
but Manitoba has the raw materials for both these products. Today, when Western housewives do their shopping, they buy frozen meats and vegetables, frozen prepared meals, cake and cookie mixes, dehydrated foods, soups, all kinds of specially processed foods, and yet, though they are grown and consumed in the West, only a small percentage of these foods are processed in the West. Here is a multi-million dollar market which could easily be supplied by Manitoba-based plants processing foods grown and raised locally. Another entire range of industrial opportunities is to be found in industries serving Manitoba farms. The modern farmer is using agricultural chemicals on an ever-increasing scale. Fertilizer, for instance, at present, $10 million worth is used yearly on Western farms. Throughout the grain belt, farmers are finding it profitable to treat their seed with fungicides. $5 million worth are used in a year. Insecticides, too, are of great importance. The annual agricultural pesticide consumption for the prairie provinces is approximately $11 million. And any farmer will tell you that wherever livestock is raised, you'll find a ready market for pharmaceuticals and medicines, essential in modern farm practice. And that same livestock consumes vast quantities of feed concentrates. Yet here, the story is the same as for so many specially processed agricultural supplies. The raw materials are available in the West. Yet many of the products are still not made in Western Canada. And this is true of the entire range from feed concentrates through to herbicides, the newest and most spectacular of farm chemicals. Here alone is a six million dollar industry which affects a saving for Western farmers of fifty million dollars annually. Yes, the market for agricultural chemicals is large and real. And not only the market, but some of the raw materials are available here in Manitoba and the West. Chemicals are only part of the modern farmer's requirements. More and more, he is coming to depend on machinery. Besides tractors and combines, Western farming calls for much specialized agricultural equipment. There are several firms operating in Manitoba which already produce farm specialty equipment such as swathing machines, grain loaders, grain separators exported to the United States, the Middle East, Europe, Africa, Australia, and New Zealand, water heaters invented here in Manitoba, the Rotary Harrow. Manitobans manufacture all this equipment right in the province. But local producers have only begun to tap the immense Western machinery market. Thus, for industry based on or serving agriculture and located in Manitoba, there are various areas open for aggressive exploration and development. First, the processing of many kinds of agricultural raw materials. Second, the manufacture of chemicals for use on Western farms. Third, the manufacture of specialized farm machinery. Industry developing any one of these will be using the products and supplying the needs of one of the world's most flourishing agricultural areas. Western Canada's farms occupy more than 200 million acres of land. Their gross agricultural return exceeds one and a half billion dollars per year. Men who wish to avail themselves of the industrial opportunities in this great agricultural belt will find that the communities of Manitoba have much to offer. The cities, towns, and villages of the province present not only a favorable industrial climate, but also ideal sites for new industries, sites attractive to live in, and strategically situated in the very midst of both raw materials and the great potential market. In centers such as these, the small industry founded by local enterprise and the much larger concern both share equal prospects. The key to Manitoba is agriculture. But Manitoba, part of the agricultural West, is more than just an agricultural province. For in Manitoba, agriculture means industry.